Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. We're going to start section double A of ISL's Algebra 1 skills today. Factoring is the topic, specifically finding greatest common factor of monomials. Got a few examples for you here. We're going to find the greatest common factor of these two monomials. The first monomial is 8H, the second monomial is 6H. What's their greatest common factor? Well, I hope we have enough background knowledge to quickly identify the greatest common factor between 8 and 6. Uh, maybe just start with 6's biggest factor, which is 6. Is 8 have a factor of 6? No. Um, next factor of 6 is 3. Is 8 divisible by 3? No. 6 is also divisible by 2. Is 8 divisible by 2? Yes, it is. So that is their greatest common factor. And what about the greatest common factor between H and H? Well, they're both divisible by themselves, H. So the greatest common factor between these two monomials is 2H. Moving on, two more monomials here. So again, we can just break it up piece by piece. What's the greatest common factor of 6 and 3? Obviously, they're both divisible by 3. Um, what's the greatest common factor between v squared and v cubed? v squared is divisible by v twice, and v cubed is divisible by v three times, but um, their greatest common factor, basically you just take the lowest um, exponent that occurs each time. So v squared is the greatest common factor between those. So the greatest common factor between these two monomials is 3v squared. Um, all right, so a greatest common factor, again, you know, look at the coefficients here. Greatest common factor between 3 and 9 is 3. And the greatest common factor between v squared and v is v to the first, or just v. Okay, so we keep the exponent that is the smallest for each variable. Now we get into several uh, terms here. We got more than just two. So we got to look at 16, 12, 4, and 12. You know, I'm looking at that 4 right there, and are all the that's the smallest of them. So are all the other terms divisible by 4? 16 is divisible by 4, 12 is divisible by 4, 12 is divisible by 4. So 4 is the greatest common factor. Um, if 4 wasn't, a factor of all of them, then I would go to the next factor of 4, which would be 2, and I'd check to see that they're each divisible by 2, but they are all divisible by 4. All right, what about the a values here? a to the 4th, a to the 4th, a to the 4th, a squared. We take the smallest exponent, so 4a squared is the GCF of this term, or of these terms. They're all divisible by 4a squared. Four terms again, four monomials, 48, 40, and 48. Well, those are all divisible by 8. So that's the least common multiple of the coefficients. And then k, k to the 10th, k squared, and k to the 9th, k to the 1st is the smallest exponent there. So 8k is their greatest common factor. This has slightly different directions here. It says find the greatest common factor, or fa find the greatest common factor of the terms of the polynomial. Okay, um, so it's a polynomial and it's got terms here. So uh, twenty-five and forty-one. What's their greatest common factor? Well, they don't. They don't actually share a, a greatest common factor. So it's it's one. Um, they're what we call relatively prime because they don't share any common factors except for one. And what about t to the fourth and t to the zero? Well, their greatest common factor is t to the zero. So our, but isn't t to the zero one? So this is really one times one, which is just one. So their greatest common factor is one. These two terms don't share any other factors except for one. 
uh, find the greatest common factor of the terms of this polynomial. So instead of being separated by a comma, a comma they're separated by an addition sign. It really doesn't change anything. 20 and 10, their greatest common factor is 10. Then I also see h to the fourth and h to the fourth. They're both divisible by h to the fourth. Um, as far as j to the fifth, there are no j's over here, or it's j to the zero. So I, I could write j to the zero here, um, but that would just clutter things up a little bit, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and then also k squared, there are no k's in this term. So again, we could write k to the zero, but that would just clutter things up, so we're not going to do that. So our greatest common factor between these two terms Basically, just ignore the j's and the k's, and it's 10h to the fourth. All right, so see how you do now on the first skill in section AA uh, of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Hopefully, this helps.